车很紧紧，肩膀绷着肩关节。Of them. Look at them. Look at him in that orange shirt. <laughs> Sexy red hat. Yes. Oh my gosh. There's so many beautiful people here. Mr. Hannah. It's great to see you. Mr. Hannah. He's a little, he's, he's one of the youngest members of the Jazz Workshop. He will be, can I tell him? Can I tell him? Can I tell them that on November the 15th, he will be 100 years old? Yeah. And he started taking music lessons here at the jazz workshop when he was like about, what, 70, 75? So people say, oh, you know, they come to me and they're like 45. Like, oh, I always wanted to take lessons. It's like it's never too late. He is living proof. Yes, yes, yes. So this concert is brought to you by the Jazz Workshop Incorporated, which is a music education and performance-based organization. It was started in 1973, right here in this library. So it's going on 50 years, okay? Yes, 50 years, milestone. So we will be celebrating shortly, very shortly. In the meantime, I'm so happy that we were able to have these legends here today, Mr. Roger Humphreys. He is the quintessential drummer who experienced success at a very young age. And he, he decided to bring it right back here, right back home. That is a mentor for you. And he is very, very sincere. He's a quintessential drummer, world-renowned drummer, as well as an awesome, awesome mentor. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce, please put your hands together for, oh, one more thing. I have to say this. This concert was made possible, our concert series, Jazz on the Steps, was made possible by a grant from the Pittsburgh Foundation. So please give them a round of applause. Thank you very much. I'm staying on the saxophone players tonight. Thank you. 
Tyler Fuji Mama.
first that wouldn't be like SHIT if we didn't play some stand eternity. Okay. Yeah. This is what our church is about. That's where me and Wayne grew up at. Not here too long ago. And like we gotta keep it in the focus on what this is representing. Yeah. Is it African African American music? And this is what we brought to America. And it's it's something wild. I hear music all the time. But there's nothing like when I hear the piano player play the chord changes of gospel music. There's mm -hmm. something where they put that chord in there, baby, just take it to another place. Mm -hmm. So right now we would like to play something uh, by one of the greatest saxophone players that ever lived. The name is Stan the Tarantino. And we like to play
round of applause for you. Max Lee on the keyboard. And Wayne Dolphin on the bass. Yours truly, Roger Hopkins. Thank you so, thank you all so much for uh, coming out today. We were speaking to ourselves and saying, uh, people don't know how much we miss them because you're part of our life. And thank God we're able to do this. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to attract you in our life. But it's the music that brings you in our lives. And we have uh, some of the greatest friendships ever, man, just because God has been good to us to play our music. And you never miss anything, man, till you can't do it anymore, you know? And, uh, like, <laughs> then you appreciate it. As a matter of fact, while I'm speaking, we're gonna do a boat ride this year again on uh, August the 28th. And we will be getting all the information out to you in just a minute. Uh, also, uh, we wanna thank Jackie here for having us. Thank you, baby. Thank you so much. Keeping jazz alive, you know what that means. And uh, your dad. <laughs> and uh, everybody in Homewood. Right now, we would like to see, uh, is there any vocalist in the house that would like to sing a song with us? Oh, my man back there? Come on, man. I can't see too damn good with my eyes. Man. But we know good well. We know good well. We know good well he can sing at it. <laughs> Come on up and man, do it too with us. And we've been knowing one another almost all of our lives. And then all of a sudden, amnesia come into my brain. And I can't tell. Tell me your name, man. Bashir. Bashir Ansari, Roger. Yeah. <laughs> he was 19 years old. See that, man? Ain't that pitiful? <laughs> But no, but it's good. I remember him, but I just couldn't re remember uh, his name. But one thing I've been checking out, don't feel bad because you can't not remember a person's name at, you know, at once. It's just something else. If you get maybe a month away, you still can't remember their name. And then when they say, what you do about that, instead of beating yourself up all the time, ask something about else, what is his name? Or what's the name? And, and you get it over real quick. We're gonna get Prashir to do a tune with us, ladies and gentlemen. One more time, how about it for my man Prashir? Testing one, two. You know you took me by surprise, Raj. I didn't even know you were gonna do that. <laughs> Wake up when the clouds are far 
Someday I wish upon a cloud and wake up with the clouds are far behind. One more time for Brother Brashear, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know what it's going to be, but I'm going to ask Mr. Luz Delute what would he like to uh, play right now. Is it funky? Something you want to get, get up and dance with something funky? Is it Latin? What, what do you want to do?
Well, we're going to do something by uh, Joe Henderson as title. Uh, 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 inner Urge. Inner Urge. It's too entitled to be Inner Urge, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Don't like it.
we're gonna play the last one for you. And I just wanna say, you can't hear me back there. <laughs> <laughs> and there's so many musicians I'd like to give thanks to, but two of the special ones. Uh, Stanley Turntine, when I came out of high school, he uh, picked me up, took me on the road with him, him and Shirley Scott. And I was, uh, let me see, I was 20 years old. Yeah. yeah. And then after playing with Stanley, I had the opportunity to go away with, uh, uh, trying to get all my shit together, with uh, Horace Silver, there you go. <laughs> and then after Horace Silver, I went with Ray Charles. But I was just saying that because when we come up, as as youngster in the music world, you learn how to play all kind of uh, styles of music, you know? Yeah. Thinking about James Brown, I used to love to listen to James Brown, you know what I mean? But it's part of your, what you are born with, you know, to be able to switch and play all kind of music. And I thank goodness for the one and only Mr. Horse Silver. You know, I had the opportunity to play with him. Thank you. And, uh, and uh, like I said, it's been wonderful, man, to be on one of the songs like he created, and I was lucky enough to play with the band when he did a song for my father. Yeah. One thing about it, man, all the musicians know, we are blessed by the grace of God, man. We get a chance to go all over the world and come to the conclusion, this is a beautiful world. We just got a, a few screw-ups, that's all, you know what I mean? But other than that, this is a beautiful world, and we would like to close this setup by playing song for my father for you.
Roger Humphreys. Yeah. And how you all can really make my day today, even though it's in the future, I mean, you know. But if I see you, please get a ticket for the boat ride, August the 28th on the Gateway Clipper. Thank you all very much. See you there. Roger Humphreys, a living legend. Yes, a living legend. The song for my father is one of the songs when we were young, playing in our little garage bands, we were always trying to play that song. So it's just such an honor to have him. And also, all the other great musicians, Dwayne Dolphin, Liz Lute, Max Lute, they're such an inspiration. So I hope you guys can come back next week to see Mr. Eric Johnson, another legend, in his own right. Thank you very much for coming out. Stay hydrated. Yes, take care.